Let's fucking go. Okay. We left off literally right in the thick of things. Infiltrating Arasaka as Johnny with Rogue and the other guy. I don't remember his name. The guy that didn't die when the helicopter exploded somehow. Um... This guy. I don't know his name. Anyway. Hi, Paper! Welcome. Yeah, dude. Let's fuck shit up. Okay. Yeah. We have been. We have been fucking shit up. All right. Get in the elevator. Take the elevator to the atrium. The atrium. Well, a little close there, ma'am. Whoa, what is this guy got going on here? What are these tubes? The Jesus. It was just a month ago I met with Michiko Arasaka here. Empty hallways, offices. Just like back then. Remember? Of course I do. You've changed, you know? Finally grown up. And you're still the best. So, security rooms are on the lower level. You'll need to plow through. Can I go in here? Is there stuff in here? Nope. I love those tables, though. Oh, Laura? The legacy of Arasaka needs no introduction. The Arasaka Corporation is one of the world's most powerful, with offices located in every major metropolis across the globe. For years, it has been behind the proverbial wheel of our planet's economy and society. The history of Arasaka and Night City is deserving of its own article, but suffice to say, the media industry in our city follows the family behind the Megacorp as closely as they do share prices. The story of the Arasaka family is one of, the em is one of empire, a true dynasty under the rule of patriarch Saburo Arasaka. Rumors of the great Saburo's retirement and cession of company control, as well as of its closely guarded secrets to his daughter Hanako and son Yorinobu, have come and passed in recent years. But has the time come where such rumors may finally contain a grain of truth? Our sources report that Yorinobu Arasaka is currently in Night City, but not for a social call. And yet, if Yorinobu is strategizing a move for the throne, what of Hanako? Experts who follow the family closely unanimously agree that due to ideological differences between Saburo and Yorinobu, Hanako will likely cement herself as the one true heir to the immense fortune and power of the Arasaka family. However, reality is hardly ever so predictable. Familial power dynamics can shift in an instant. For example, what would happen if Hanako fell from favor at a time when Yorinobu had his father's ear? And what scenario might cause such a fall? No family is without its secrets, and the Arasakas are no exception. After all, what appears first as heaven appears second as hell. Japanese proverb. That's an interesting proverb. What appears first as heaven appears second as hell. Why isn't this button working? Oh, okay. Where did that guy go? I saw a guy. The elevators are still jammed. Got to jump. That's a long way down. Precisely why I told you to bring the antigraphs. Oh. Oh. What if I should pick that off?
Secure your soul. See you down bottom. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay, all the way? <laughs> all the way down? Right? I mean, gosh, if you say so. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh! I can just. Ah! Which way now? Security room. Need to find the elevator to the lab. <laughs> fastest route to the Ah! Uh... Uh, okay, I just, all right, yeah. Okay, we just went right in there. Uh, 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 Who, what the, oh, fuck! Oh, God, oh, no. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, I'm gonna die. Okay, what are we doing right now? Oh, God. Why are you coming over to me? Go away! Oh, is there two of these guys? Holy moly. Oops. Oh my god. Wow. Terrible. Absolutely terrible. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> like I was handling it. So can I- I can pick this up, I think. Or no. Right? Oh god, it's so heavy. How do I, um, how do I drop it though? I don't actually want it. Oh, I think once I switch weapons, I'll just drop it. Yeah, okay. I don't actually need that. I don't actually need that. Okay. Where are we going? Get to the security room. Ready, guys? What's this? Oh, that's another one of those guns. Okay, we don't want that. Did I fall too far down, it appears? Please. Like, Arasaka really cares about the environment. I don't buy it. Oh, shit! My bad. Floor. Already red. Okay, don't care. Oh man, I suck at shooting today. Confirmed. Um, open the fucking door. assault rifle. I guess I'll take it. Seems good. Knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door. I didn't see that that that's what that was called until just now. Thank you for that. The Velar mission. Back to square one. The failure of the Velar mission, which undermines the pr progress of Lyceral 3.0 program. And our understanding of exoplanet group 972609 may be definitive proof that the current space race is hindering overall space exploration efforts rather than feeling them through noble competition. In 2060, Lagaretta predicted that the pace of technological development at the time would lead to the confirmation of the existence of white holes and the discovery of a theory for quantum gravity within 15 years. Alas, those 15 years have come and gone. Perhaps if the ESC, SRC, and Orbital Air tried to cooperate and share information in the spirit of science for a change, rather than torpedoing each other's research, the situation today might be very different. 
Why is my hand tweaking out? I do not claim to be a visionary as Legretta was, but I would bet my last euro dollar that the next major mission success will launch from O'Neill 1, not Earth. What's going on with my arm, eh? Oh, am I glitching because it's like fighting for Johnny's arm? I see. Every mission name is the title of a song. Yeah, I noticed. That's cool. Some of the songs I definitely don't recognize, but... That's cool. Maniacal, hello, welcome in. <clears throat> There's a cover of that song. It's one of my favorite covers of any song ever by Warren Zevin. Oh, I haven't heard it. It's a good song, though. Knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door. Oh, open the server room doors. I should pay attention to what the game is telling me to do. Uh, okay. What are we looking for? Oh, we need to... What's this? Um, medical report. Hmm. Open. Patching in alt. Hmm. Let your woman out of her Join box. the Let army of them. darkness. Don't hey, resist. I do. Hey gang, Just long time. Point. Yo! Meat hammer. Your dark flame has been reignited. Go forth and spread the darkness. Mate Hammer, it's good to see you. Welcome in. Thank you for the 21 months. Hi, lab engineer. Welcome in. Never fade away. Yeah, I might. I think I'll probably get it. Where Johnny invades Carrie's place and the fingerings he uses are actually correct. That is a nice touch. I mean, I believe it. This game has been very attentive to details, so... That's awesome. Well, could have been worse. Alt's in. Think she can break through the ice? I have bypassed security. I have complete control of the building. Wow. To negotiate Elevator. Now. Oh shit, okay. <laughs> what happened to this guy? He's steaming. Why is he steaming? Oh! I guess alt is on it. Alright then, hell yeah. Well, that's kind of boring. I want to kill people. What the fuck? Save some for us, Alt. What's this? Have you guys collected all the um legendary weapon? <laughs> that guy went flying. That would be cool. I feel like if I were to collect items, it would be that. You got most of them? Nice, nice. I feel like I've put a lot of legendaries in my stash, but only have like two have gone actually on the wall. Yeah, those little details are really respect respectable. Okay, the Netrunner's Nest. Uh, it was recorded for his last album, which was recorded after he was diagnosed with cancer and he was given six months to live. Oh, man. He lived longer and saw the album release and the birth of his grandchild. Oh, that's good. So he was literally knocking on Heaven's Door. Never on the wall? Oh, wait, really? Is it really difficult to get the ones on the wall? Never think back about why we did it. Did what? Why we took on the corpse, strapped in leather, chrome, and iron. Don't know, Johnny. We were young. Hot blood in our veins, shit judgment in our heads, like all pups. We fought for beauty, 
Not knowing what was good or true. It was only the beautiful that meant a damn thing to us. Don't let your mind wander. We'll kick around old wonder what that does once we're done. Her eyes are intense. Runners have stormed the tower's systems. Stopping their advance is my priority. Oh, you never put them on the wall? I've cleared a path, but you must hurry. Made a run for it? Wound up turret fodder. Holy fucking. Oh, shit. Seems Cunningham's mates. Is this friendly? These last decades. Oh. Sick. Easy mode. Shit eaters never even stood a chance. Come on, the way down's beyond the door. Oh no. Looks like our work here is already done. No kidding. Which weapon do I have equipped right now? This one does more damage. Let's move it. Hold on. Oh, I forgot I had this sick orange bodysuit on. I love it. <laughs> I want a suit like that. That's sick. Um. The hell was I just gonna do? Oh yeah. Picked up a shotgun. That is better, it seems. Carnage. I mean, that one's actually even better. Or is it? Less attack, slower attack speed. Wider range. Oh, it's you can charge it. You can charge it. Uh, maybe let's try this one. Also, do I have like? Okay, no, none of that. I haven't upgraded my. Wow, this gun looks mean. I haven't upgraded my cyberware. In a little, in a little while. <laughs> Whoa. I always forget she has crazy hair. Never forget. Okay, so close. I can almost smell the data stream. Room past the partition. Artificial lungs. At the core. Damn, that sounds pretty good. Some fresh lungs and a new spine. And maybe some some eye some enhanced eyes. I think that would be a fine selection of cyberware if I were to exist in this world. I actually went for my massage yesterday and it was so nice and relaxing and it felt really good. Also, they massage your like arms and legs. Oops. And like the calf and forearm massage, underrated as fuck. It, I was like, that feels so good. Like, this is amazing. I didn't even know. I didn't even know. Time, Johnny. Ever. The tension. Always. New legs. Is that Adam Smasher? No. Oh. Oh my god. Fucking dead. <laughs> he just 
killed Rogue! What the fuck? Okay, so close. I can oh no. Oh my god. We cross it okay, hold on. Okay. I think we might need to actually use like an assault rifle. Um Um, might be instead of this. I don't think we're gonna need a sniper right now. Um, so it does more damage. Okay. I read our. Okay, yeah, this looks like it's gonna be fucking hard. All right, let's do this. Oh my god, we have to watch Rogue die over and over and over again. I can't turn back time, Johnny. Ever. But you can always... Did you hear that? You can't turn back time. Ever. But you can always start over. Is that not what we were talking about? Rogue is wise! Oh, skip ahead. Okay. Let's skip ahead here. Or, hello? Where's my fucking gun? Oh, God. What am I stuck on? This is gonna be a time and a half, isn't it? Oh, what is my... Oh, God. Okay. Holy sh... This is gonna be me running away probably 90% of the time. Is what I'm gathering here. <laughs> He's fast! He's really fast. Oh god, okay. No. Oh, Jesus. Oh, fuck me. At least we have help. <laughs> I wonder if there's like um, a choice with, I don't know if that guy the other guy that we're fighting with? I don't know, because there was a choice, I think, to search for him. Or for him to be... to figure it out on his own, and I just wonder if he would have, like, not been in this fight if we didn't do that or something. Oh, fuck me! I want to rip your brain from your skull! What a coincidence! Oh, shit. I'm dead. Oh my god! Okay. We just have to keep our distance. We just have to time our running and sliding and such. Okay. What's happening? Can't turn back time, Johnny. Ever. Fuck, I'm trying to dodge him, but Jesus Christ. Oh shit, I have like this crazy slide now. Get out of my way, you 
you fucking dick? Look at my crazy slide. Okay. Oh my god. Jesus. Oh my god. He's a maniac. He's a fucking maniac. Oh my god! Chill out, bro! Relax! God, relax. Can you attack that guy? Thank you. Something. Oh my fucking Jesus Christ. Wait, can he come up here with me? I wonder. Oh god, oh no. Is the pillar lo lowering? Okay, that's not gonna work. Oh god, no, I'm not alive. Not anymore. Uh, god, maybe I should use a shotgun. I don't even know. I have no idea. I guess I don't like that it's a burst. I mean... Hmm. I don't know what I want to do right now. Uh... That's the most damage. Oh, my son just chatting. Jesus Christ. Why did no one fucking say anything? <laughs> Love that for me. Thanks, Cypher. Thank you. Can't turn back time, Johnny. Ever, but you can always. Um, hi, nice puppies. Hi, Lucky. You tried Doom? Which, which Doom? Why? <sighs> I was short lived. Oh, Eternal. How are you liking it?
The boss fights are so jank in this game. <laughs> I don't know. I just find it so hard to dodge. Oh, man. Gun fucking sucks. <laughs> oh my god, like it's just so fucking awkward. Moving around is so awkward. Okay. Jesus Christ. Am I even hitting him with this gun? Oh my god! This is rough, dude. Oh, Jesus Christ! really just popping out of nowhere. Okay, so I do have to dodge twice there. Jeez! My dude! Whoa! Or not? I don't know. Thank goodness this doesn't have a this dash doesn't have a cooldown. Holy yes, I can just dash infinitely basically. you piece of actual trash absolute fucking gutter trash who's this fucking guy wait i can can i hack him oh, i can overheat i actually totally forgot that, that was even a thing what is happening what is this <laughs> What is literally going on right now? Are you serious? Bro, I cannot. Oh my god! Ah! No! Come on! Can I take these fucking boots off? Oh my god, I can't take these boots off. Okay. This is horrible. No, come on. Don't do this to me. Oh god, don't do this to me. <laughs> I don't want to.
<laughs> what the? This guy's lived forever. Oh, God. up here okay oh fuck me Oh my god. Wait, no, I didn't want to do that. Fuck, I didn't want to do that. I don't have any grenades. Did you just say fuck your mother? Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> Why don't I have any fucking shit? Oh my god, reload for 500 years, why don't you? Jesus Christ.
Aua. I'm scared. My God. That was stressful as fuck. Listen to me, you bored son of a Logan's more than you or I ever could. Best there ever was. And you killed her. She knew the risks. Rogue finally smashed you. Rogue had it in for you. Finally got what she wanted. You're talking tribe. I killed the old cut. Don't know shit, Smasher. She finished things off on her own terms. Something you'll never get. That guy definitely has to fucking die. Who would keep him alive? For what reason would you ever keep this piece of shit alive? Sounds like the worst fucking idea ever. <laughs> uh... Yeah, where is Rogue's gun? Over here? <coughs> oh. Oh god. Oh man. You know what? Fuck Adam Smasher's mother for spawning him. Yeah, well... I don't know. Maybe. Maybe... Maybe. Cause this isn't Rogue. Where is she? Oh, I'm carrying too much. Classic! Typical! Okay, we'll equip her. Wait a second. Um... Probably need the space. <clears throat> Where is Rogue's gun? Also, what is with the why am I why am I wobbling? What are those? Security turret. Oh, I could explode those? I feel like I did not use my I feel like I could have used my abilities, like my hacking abilities a lot more. during that fight to make things easier um yeah like initiate overload probably makes that explode or something or i could have turned them on and made them friendly or something this wobbling is is awful i'm really hating it 
Where is... This wobbling is seriously not great. Um... We're gonna music? Yeah, we're like... We blend genres, but we're like rock metal. Primarily. Oh, right here. Here it is. Found it. Jeez, it was hiding. Rogue. You were the best. Always. Like, some of our songs are, are heavier than others and such. We definitely blend genres, but yeah, say rock, metal. <laughs> All right. We got Rogue's Gun, which was... I don't know which one it was. It was a pistol, I think. Or was it a revolver? What was her gun called? Do you guys know? One. <clears throat> oh, was it this, maybe? Has a mean streak, like its first owner. A quick melee attack ignites the enemy and deals massive damage but consumes all remaining bullets currently loaded in the gun. Whoa, that's kind of cool. I didn't even notice that. Oh, wait, that's the one that I have equipped? Wait, that's this gun? If I melee attack someone, it ignites them? Wow, I didn't know that. I have not been utilizing that. It has a name? They all have names. Was it a shotgun? Was it Crusher? Overture? I don't know. It could be any one of those ones that I picked up. Pride? Pride. Pride. Oh, this one. Rogue's Pride and Joy. Oh, there it is. After neutralizing an enemy with the Prejudice Power Assault... Pride will not consume ammo for a short time. The first shot is a guaranteed critical hit. When you're at high health, headshots deal increased damage. Increased headshot damage against elite enemies. Sick. Oh, uh, Archangel is carries. Okay, let me see. <clears throat> An angel of a weapon... With a devil's attitude, full auto mode allows you to fire rounds in the rhythm of Samurai's Archangel. <laughs> That's cool. Successive hits after short intervals knock enemies to the ground. Cool! They all sound really cool, actually. I feel like we should try... Um... <laughs> That's so random. Um, I feel like we should try all of them. I can't do anything right now. I'm actually useless right now. Okay, wait. Here we go. So full auto. I mean, how do I even switch? Is this considered full auto? How would I switch that? I'm actually asking. Full auto mode? I don't know how to turn on full auto mode.
The power assault? What does that mean? Yeah, sounds good, Nick. Enjoy your food. Um, what is... I just hold down the trigger? Oh, because some, some, I guess in other games you can switch between, you can switch between full auto or semi-auto. So I thought that's what this was talking about. Okay, it doesn't seem like that different, but okay. Good to know. And then, but this one says prejudice, with the prejudice power assault. What does that mean? What does it mean? After neutralizing an enemy with the prejudice power assault, pride will not consume ammo. What is the prejudice power assault? What does that mean? Does anybody know? Hi, Ike. Welcome in. <clears throat> Does that just mean... I don't know. I'm assuming... Oh, prejudice is another gun. Oh, so it works with another gun. It's interesting. <clears throat> hmm. 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 Interesting. <clears throat> Very interesting. <clears throat> I suppose we could use this one for a little bit. I kind of want to set someone on fire with this, though. Because I, I... I didn't know that was a thing. We have to try that. At least once before we switch to Rogue's Gun, I say. Oh, Wayland, that's his name. Sorry, buddy, I forgot your name, man. Hey, Wayland. Yeah, man. You're all right. Good luck, Silverman. The access point lies before you. Link to it. Insert yourself. Then search for me. Insert yourself. Uh oh. Insert yourself. Go insert yourself. Are we killing Johnny? I feel like they should have just made the game about Johnny. <laughs> that would have been cool. Need a prequel game. Is 
is this the cat? Is this the cat? Oh my god, why I cannot pet? I want to pet. I must pet. She's so cute. Hi. Yeah, it's probably for the best. I don't. I, oh, another cat. Meow. Is this the roof? This is Misty's roof. I forgot to wear my cyberpunk choker. I keep fucking forgetting about it. Ah. Shucks. Thanks for the hydrate. What's all this? Once out of nature, I shall never take my bodily form from any natural thing. But such a form as Grecian goldsmiths make, of hammered gold and gold enameling, to keep a drowsy emperor awake, <coughs> or set upon a golden bough to sing... Can I fall off of this? No. ...and ladies of Byzantium, of what is past or passing. To come. Whoa. Signal. Oh, the stairway to heaven. <clears throat> It's V. Hey V, happy to see me. Oh, it's kind of cool. Exactly. Blacked out, then woke up here. I miss anything? It was cool to see our V character from the different, from the outsider's perspective. Shadow Revenue, hello! Welcome in! How are you? What do I do now? Wait. <clears throat> Shame you couldn't watch. It was my magnum opus. You loved it. Me and yours and rogues, don't you? Rogue's dead. I'm sorry. No. Pretty shit for him, too. All tit and the soul killer. My nerves are in shreds. You'll be all right. I mean, look, you made it this far. Awareness of what's happening right now? That just <laughs> raunches. Like, Alt neatly packed me into an engram. Couldn't even tell when. Or how. So what do you think? Like being a club of ones and zeros? At first, the phantom pain. Jesus. I felt like my whole body was on fire. <clears throat> I realize now, it's not pain at all. Just some digital simulacrum. Guess all it's gonna start moving this digital psyche I am back into my flesh. But I had no idea if I'll survive or what I'll be if I do. Soul killer, we can't feel it doing its thing. How come? We should be pissing our panties in pain right now. Digital analgesia. Or data streams. Certain sensation inputs can be blocked. Blah, blah, yada, yada. Alt, make you suffer through an exhaustive lecture? Imparted it instantly. Whatever. 
She did say she'd destroy Mikoshi. Just as you agreed. Gonna release all those poor bastards only to suck them into her own bosom. Make them part of herself. So we at the finish line? It's all in Alt's hands now. No. What the hell? Alt? I made a mistake in excluding the body as a factor. DNA reconfiguration has progressed too far. Added to aggressive, invasive medications, the body's immune system attacking its own neurons. Spit it out! In human terms! V will die independent of what I do. This is inevitable. This is imminent. Fuck. Couldn't have said it better myself. What the hell? What now? Me... Let me think. Oh, come on. There's gotta be a way out of this. The biochip has irreversibly changed the host organism. It no longer belongs to V, who was an intruder there. The situation is different for you. All changes were made to accommodate you. Hang on. your ex to kick me out of my own body? The changes are irreversible. You have nothing left to lose. He has everything to gain. I will not interfere in your personal affairs. But while Johnny has full control, he can do what he wishes. Oh, cyberpunk it's intense we're in the end game now <laughs> that is mad at me for for driving through and not saying hi oh where where are you shadow are you in ontario have we talked about that and i forget Alt, give us a what the hell for? So you could trick me into agreeing. Giving you a free pass, even though you can already do what you want with my body. Oh, you're Toronto! Sweet. You're my friend, V. I'd never pull that on you. Never do you wrong. Seeing as how I'm doomed to die, you stick to the plan I gave you. I leave, you stay. Keys to my body are yours. Okay, yeah. Can't say I wasn't hoping you would say that. Johnny. What do I do, Alt? Simply enter the well. V's body will be yours, while V will become a part of me. Does Johnny... So Johnny's gonna take over... V's body? No. No, that's not right. V can't be herself anymore? I don't think I should take her body, though. That doesn't seem right. That's not who I am, either, as Johnny. I think we just go out together, you know? We might as well both. Nikki, save your game! 
be in cyberspace forever, I say. I go this way? Looks like it. Johnny. What? Are you fucking kidding me? Okay, easy. Think too big a dose of silver hand wound up in my blood. Need to chill. Listen. If I had to choose who to hole up with on a desert island, it wouldn't be you. Ever. Hell, the whole cast of little big corpo rats would have you beat. Cause you're a dickhead. In a big way. And sure, plenty of others out there are more deserving of life. But even so, I never wish you dead. But I'm basically already dead. Does she want me to be... Does she want me to live on then? She wants me to live on his feet. Pooh hair, hello. I can't save right now, by the way, save. I... Is she gonna stop me? Just promise me one thing, asshole. You won't forgive me. Oh god, now I'm torn. I was resolved, but... Oh god, I don't know what to do now! I can't save. Let's just hang out here on the bridge forever and then we never have to choose. You didn't see that coming? That I would choose to be Johnny? Really? Why would I trust Arasaka? Johnny is like one of the best parts about this game. So more Johnny content is a plus. I feel like this, this game should have just been about Johnny. <laughs> In the first place. Hi, Obi-Wan. Uh, Vaka, yeah, what's next? Dark Souls 2. Oh, we're about to have ads. We're about to have ads. I won't do anything until the ads are over. We have three minutes to decide what to do. Because I'll wait. I don't want to, you know. Maybe people are invested in the what choice I make and what happens. So let's wait till ads are over because it's too late for me to snooze them. So let's let's think about it, I guess, for three minutes. <laughs> that will be the, the clock is ticking. The hourglass is, has been flipped. Um, okay. Okay, ad, get on with it. Man. <laughs> Oh man, I mean, I feel like the right thing to do is just like, go and like, I don't know, I have this like nagging feeling in the back of my mind that, well, no, surely alt would, would know best, you know, Whew, just gotta chill, like, if there really was a way to save V, I'm sure she would, but there might be some miracle but also it seems to me like v wants me it seems like she wants me to but do i want to as johnny does johnny want to live in some woman's body for the rest of his life it seems strange especially because all of his friends are dead 
Who does he have? I mean, I guess he has like Carrie. Man. <sighs> he can start over what from my From my understanding, we are just hopping back into B's body. Although, have we finished what we started at Arasaka? I guess. Like, is there something else that we still need to do? Is there anything else that remains? I don't know. He'd be V in physical form, but himself. Yeah, which I guess I suppose he's used to at this point. Oh my god, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do, man. My headset is hurting my ears again. Grr. Um... Ash, okay. All right, 53 seconds to make a decision. Um, uh, uh, oh. Uh. Enter cyberspace forever. I feel like I have to. Like I have to. This feels like the right decision for Johnny.
Kilroy, thank you for the bits. Hello, welcome. Um, E5, welcome in. Where am I? Am I in Carrie's house? Or is this my own house? Mm, this animal print has got to be... <laughs> it's got to be Carrie. <laughs> okay, we have to have a shower. I guess we're grimy. Wow, look at this shower. That's nice. I love big, like, ugh, showers like this. Looks so nice. <laughs> I love that. Wow, I want that. <coughs> Wash off blood. Mm -hmm. Good morning, V. I trust you had a restful night. Mm -hmm. You have no new messages. You have one meeting planned today at the afterlife. Delamain has confirmed a vehicle arrival at the arranged time. I've noticed your calendar is empty for what remains of the month. Would you like me to begin planning? No, thanks. That's as it should be. Oops. <laughs> Perfect. Have a nice day. Hey, boss. Hey, you there yet? Not yet. It'll be on time, though. His people came to scan the place earlier. Check and make sure everything's clean before he arrived. <laughs> Thought we didn't notice him. And the gear? All set with the heat. Wow. There's still beanbag chairs in the future? Thanks. Be there soon. We're naked. Wait, where's my clothing that I just picked up? Okay. My god, the animal print. Who are we? Looks like we were doing some reading on our beanbag chairs. I don't know. I thought beanbag chairs would be obsolete. I mean, does anybody have beanbag chairs to this day? What is this? Bolsla Lesmian. Lamian? Why so many candles? These faces above me. No more harm shall ever meet my body. Everyone is standing. Well, here I alone I lie, grieving, feigning. One must be true when one must die. And so, buried under these wreaths of leaves, I lie, solemnly, agelessly, solitarily. Death, gone silent, once again rushes to my head. Though by now, I know, all comprehension is dead. How I loathe to become accustomed to this grave to be what i once was that is all i crave damn
Definitely need some coffee this morning, I think. Just scalded our throat. Just a little reminder that Ms. Green's birthday is coming up. She's been taking care of our building for years now. And as always, we're all pitching in for a little gift for her. From clouds to be. Wherever you are, whatever you do, you deserve a fresh a breath of fresh air. Mm. I'm in meet at the afterlife. From Mr. B. Mr. Bean? You're running out of time for obvious reasons. A decision, please, if only because my patience is wearing thin. So, V, what will it be? Will I be pleasantly surprised or disappointed once again? V, pulled every last string we had, but I think it worked. Got the fuel, grabbed an orbital air tanker, wiped it from the records. So They'll notice eventually, but it should be too late by then. So, don't worry about the transport. Frick, I still do that to this moment. Okay. Um, um, should I, I guess I don't have anything, <laughs> I don't have any items, so should I grab a, should I grab a gun? it's important to stay strapped all right mac and jesus <laughs> what is this good morning v hey del are you prepared for takeoff Hello? The afterlife. All right then. Burns and quest hello. Your wish is my command. My, don't you look tired? Did you have a difficult night? Difficult few weeks. Success weighing you down. Is that it? I was under the impression you had gotten all you wanted. That you'd shown the city exactly who is top dog. Can I help? I'd very much like to help you. Mood in the city. What's it like? Arasaka's problems continue to compound. Organizational disintegration. Its share prices collapsed. Public mistrust is at an all-time high. Who here, Majin? Did you do the end other ending? Secure your soul to be a smashing success for Arasaka. It turned into a horrific curse. They lost all resources related to the program. Hi, Funk. Mm -hmm. Welcome. Promised rich immortality. Sold him on it. Actually collected engrams and knowledge. Bid for control. For power, I say. And the street? Rumors abound that you've taken on something rather big, and that one with great power and even greater funds is backing you. Nothing much besides. Arasaka is in chaos, striving to restore even a semblance of order. It seems you, the afterlife, are safe. For now. Good to know. May I ask you something, V? Shoot. 
You mentioned recently that only one thing matters to you, to gaze upon Night City from the very top. I hope your deep learning covered metaphor. And you're not about to tell me to exercise caution when looking out the window. Sarcasm. Funny. No. I wish to ask what will come next, once you've achieved your aim. <laughs> I'll die. <laughs> ask me once it's done. Once it's all over. Of course. I shall be sure to do so. And I am glad. Why is that? That I'll be able to ask. That means it'll work. <laughs> I never romance <laughs> anyone. <laughs> uh. I've chosen the optimal route. We'll be arriving shortly. I'm scarred from Mass Effect. I don't have time for that anymore. My heart can't handle that. Luck, May your plans bear succulent fruit. Succulent. Suck. You lint. Yennefer was like canon though. Like that was just like that just that just happens, you know? You don't really It's just the way it is, you know? That's just that's life. I guess Johnny kind of romance. We we had a moment where Johnny romance tried to romance Rogue as V, so that counts. <laughs> uh, your first playthrough was this ending? Okay. Just with the ro so it's different if you romance someone. Gotcha. Alistair, hello. Cheers. Welcome. I'll spin the wheel for you shortly. Let's see what the heck's going on here. Wait, who said hi? Oh, hey, Emmerich. We good? Perfect. Your box is ready and wait. Hi, Guff. Welcome. Okay, gotcha. Maybe. Get you something? Is this the lady that we went racing with? I guess it is. My usual. Sure thing. People can tell something's up. Won't be able to keep it under wraps much longer. Won't have to. Take offs today. Today? Is that a problem? No, no. Just in that case, you're gonna need something special. Rogue had this little ritual. Before any big op, she'd knock back a shot of tequila. Silverhands preferred. Asked her once if it was for luck or whatever. You know what she said? Said it was about remembering. Said that remembering Johnny that way helped her focus on what was important. Anyways, afterlife tradition. I'm gonna mix you up one of our specials. Just tell me who we're drinking to. We're gonna drink to Rogue. Drinking to Rogue. I gotta say, she'd be happy to see you in her box. Think so? Remember that first time you asked her for help? She was hard on you, wasn't she? You know what she told me later? She said she's got that blood. Afterlife blood. She'll make the city hers or it'll kill her. No third option. I think that was why she decided to help you. And well, she was right. <laughs> that she was. you back together beautifully brand shiny new Wayland. <laughs> yeah somehow anyway i had an upper sitting on my ass in the clinic feel much better here where you could tell everyone about your Sokka tower heroics <laughs> you know it but what you plan to do today b i mean respect nothing else will ever come close what are so we gonna do yourself and good luck Thanks. What are we doing? Let me spin the wheel for Alistair before I forget. We're doing something big. Five second roll card. Okay, we'll do that. 
once we're done here. V, I guess we will. I've long awaited this moment to look the latest afterlife legend in the eye. I must say, I Oh, really blue eyes. Happy not to disappoint. Ladies first. This is our client here, okay. Talk to me. Well, V, Mikoshi was quite the punch. You so, TKO'd Arasaka. It's interesting that I'm alive in my body. Isn't it? I thought I couldn't go back into my body. Hmm. Brought you eddies, influence hmm. around town, but not just that. It meant positive paralysis of Arasaka systems. A few additional hatches opened up. My people rushed in, grabbed what they could. So it's all systems go for the up. I have confirmed the intel leaking out of Arasaka. The casino is currently testing a new security system. And it's true. They will be shutting it down briefly today. I believe you'll know how to use that moment. I'm the best. Won't be disappointed. Pick the best merc around for the job. So I've heard. But I'd like it proved to me as well. Speaking of which, nobody's ever pulled off a stunt like this. Where I'm from, they'd say it's straight impossible. They'd say you're taking too big a risk. Poetically speaking, flying towards the sun to burn up. Guess that's why he hired me. <laughs> you know why I hired you? Because you'd do anything at all for even the faintest chance at survival. Even if it meant coming to within a hair's breadth of your untimely death. This time tomorrow should have the casino's client data. All of it. Don't forget your side of the bargain. Oh, I never forget a promise. Good luck. Are we in a sp are we in space? Right, in position. Perfect. Almost to the second. My turn. Hmm. Satellites are down for now. Just got the signal. Signature cloaking activated. Remember, got one shot and one shot only. Okay, so no pressure. Tell me something I don't know. As soon as it starts, there'll be no backing down. No chance of extraction. No chance of survival if anyone notices. Excellent. But if this works, you'll gain more than you ever imagined. Times when I had something to gain are long gone. Now, now I got nothing to lose. That's kind of grim. Then again, who am I to judge? What is this? Is this important? Crystal Palace feel alive in the dead of space. Okay, ask around town about your client. It's like I said, nobody knows a damn thing. This guy's swimming with great whites way above our info circle, high up enough that nobody can give us the known unknowns or he's shady as hell. Given the city doesn't abide the nameless, either way, make sure you know what you're doing. Shoot. Yeah, Vic, to the end. We are doing some crazy shit right now, I guess. 
Okie dokie. <clears throat> I'm armed and extremely dangerous. Okay. Here goes nothing. Good luck. See you down bottom. Over and out. Exit the airlock and soar into the stars. Whoa, what? How'd they fit all that hair in there? Now we killed that bitch. Those green eyelashes were such a fine choice. This is crazy. I was not expecting to go to space. <laughs> okay. Kind of sick. What? Don't tell me it ends there. Hey V, what's up kid? Been a while since you came to see old Vic. I bet your tunes in the afterlife found you a new major league ripper, huh? I'm swinging what? downtown fucker shooting chrome out his ass. Am I right? sometime okay next time you're in the neighborhood we'll talk about old times and i'll take a look at you make sure that the new ripper of yours didn't screw anything up see you around me join the army of darkness don't resist hey v. I was just another month how you let's mean. fucking go haven't heard from you in a while Still living large in Night City? I don't know. All I think about is dropping everything and leaving. <laughs> Yet, here I am still. Well, the city's like quicksand. The more you try to get out, the more it pulls you in. Once you're up to your knees, you're never getting out. Like, I'm like Evelyn. Look out for yourself, okay? And call me sometime. Bye. They don't know. Hey, V. It's Pen M. Remember me? The one with the car? I guess I'm obviously dead. Listen, you wouldn't happen to have any gigs to spare, would you? I'm not picky or anything. I'll take whatever pays the rent. If you've got something, or... You're the one that drove my does, bike over. Give me a call. I really appreciate it. So, yeah, uh, that's it. Catch you sometime in the afterlife, maybe. Hello, V. Um, Saul speaking. Who the fuck Heard is about this? about something big happening in Night City. With a certain V in the lead role. Um, don't know what that was all about or what you got going on. But if you oh. Right. Or camps your second home. 
I will never forget what you did for us. And for me. It's a debt I'm happy to owe you. Head up. Eyes forward, V. Yeah, yeah. I remember. V, hey! Can you hear me? Shit, is this thing recording? Okay, well, all of us have been wondering when you're finally gonna drop by. We can get a barbecue going, knock a few back, do a couple of races, or pay a friendly visit to the Raff and Shiv. Guess what I'm trying to say is, well, Badlands could use a badass like you, V. Don't know what you got on your plate right now, but remember, you're welcome out here anytime. All right, now take care. Hey, V. Listen, I was just thinking about you, so I laid out a quick tarot. I know, I know the reading's not as strong without you here, but we haven't seen each other for so long, and I. Well, one thing led to another. Know what I drew? Strength, the Emperor, and the world. Pape, the world's gonna hear about you. Go and show Night City what you're made of. Hi, Keepy. Um, Joseph. Hello. Joseph Mueller. Your dark flame has been reignited. Go forth and spread the darkness. Thanks for the 38 months in a row. I really appreciate it. Thanks, Joseph. Welcome in. Uh, the name of the project team for the next cyberpunk game I feel like it's a hint as to what to expect sure yeah um I'm a little disappointed by that ending I wish this was an actual mission yeah me too I I was she trying to blow up the Crystal Palace? I want to know what happened. Did she not die? So is the game going to... So they're going to... Project Orion, so are they going to... So it's a cliffhanger because there's another game where they're going to continue. Emotional damage. Hello. Nicotine and soy sauce. Welcome. I did the one where Johnny goes back into the cyberspace and V goes back into her body, I guess. And then theoretically fucks up the Crystal Palace. I'm not sure. It was exciting to go to space and then... Hi, Nico. I didn't- I wasn't streaming yesterday. Um, I've rearranged my schedule a little bit, so I don't know that I'll be doing Mario consistently on Twitch. I'm gonna probably do it on YouTube because I just don't have the time anymore to dedicate a full day to it. Uh, because I can only stream, like, I'm streaming part-time because I have other things going on right now, so... I don't- I can't dedicate a full day to it consistently every week. Um... Unfortunately. But, we'll still play Mario. Uh, most of my Mario stuff will go on YouTube. Um, but maybe on here. Sag. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't think that it was really- I didn't really think that a lot of people cared about it that much. Uh, I guess I was wrong. Uh, but yeah, I just can't commit to that right now because so many other games to get through. This is a good song. I know, right? Emotional damage. 
Variable, thank you for the bits. Thank Hi, you. Mickey. Sorry, lurking a bit. Hey, you never have to apologize for lurking. No worries. Yeah, I can tell. Thanks, Variable, for the bits. Was it fun to watch? It just didn't seem to be working out very well, but um, yeah, that's not to say we'll still do Mario content here. Uh, just not, I'm not dedicating a whole day to it. Um, but I'll still be playing. I'll still be playing for myself. <laughs> uh you love the music in this game yeah it's been pretty good v's body was already turned against v's soul and personality so she was gonna die anyways yeah, so do we just theorize that she died then at the end? Yeah, a space game would be cool. Space RPG. Um. Well then, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. The theme of this playthrough was disappointment. Is that what you mean, Gamel? I enjoyed it for what it for what it, it's worth. I did enjoy it. I enjoyed the final mission. Um, I had fun. I would like to know what happens if you do the other ending, which we will do at a separate time. We can once we do, when we do the DLC. When we do the DLC, we can do a different ending. We can do the other ending. Actually, the DLC might have a different ending altogether. I don't know. I have no idea. Oh my gosh, four of its own endings and adds a main game ending. Okay, so... I wish there was a way... Fuck, I should have made a save. I wanna go back and see what the other ending does. I don't know if there's a save point though. <laughs> I should have made a save point after beating Adam Smasher. Eight endings. Oh, wow. That's very thorough. All right. How do we get... Get through this here. Is there anything after the credits? Uh, Night City never sleeps. There's still so much to see and do. You can continue from your last open world checkpoint where you will have a special reward waiting for you. Sure. We 
We gotta go play Roach Race. Where am I? Here are your rewards. We already have pride. Oh, there's prejudice, though. Cool. Caretaker spade. <laughs> May not be lethal, but your enemies will wish it was. <laughs> For a little light gardening and body disposal. Berserk. Cool. A key to room on the Ibu Nike? Oh, is this like... Is this before meeting with Hanako for the first time? Is that where we left off? Oh, wait, what's this one? Oh, is this, this is the Johnny quest, right? I believe. Okay. Yeah, this is the point of no return, I believe, right here. Yeah. So now we can do the DLC next time. And I guess that'll just be it, because that'll have its own ending. We did it. We did it. Sweet. Those pants are not so chill. <laughs> How about those shorts? <laughs> okay. Uh, cool. Cool, man. Should we play some road trays? Where is the place that we need to go? Over here, I think. I do have to pee, though. We'll never fade away. We should cover that song, Majin. Never fade away. Hi, Juicy Jack. How'd I like the game overall? I thought it was fun. I thought it was pretty fun. I don't... I'm not, I'm not. Um, I didn't like totally love it, but uh, I enjoyed my time with it. Yeah, you made a save after Smasher on your playthrough. I wish that I did that. I wasn't thinking. Yeah, I would, I, I wish that I did that. Cause I wanna see, I, I, I don't know. I'll just look it up on YouTube or something. Um Johnny taking the body that was that was the worst ending for you, you would say? Or what do you mean by that? Like you didn't like that ending as much? It was more sad? I imagine it would be quite sad. Oh my god, is that a little... What is this little shitter? <laughs> oh, I wanted to hop on. Oh, let me on your car! Dude, you can pull up. Okay.
No, I didn't do the DLC. I, I just simply do not feel like I have 20 more hours of this game in me right now. But I will come back to it eventually. We're going on a little adventure. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go pee. Then we'll play some road race. Uh, smart car. So stupid. Dumb car. <laughs> stupid ass car. Yeah, I'll just let you guys enjoy this ride, I suppose. While I pee. <laughs> uh, um, Johnny taking my body seemed the best. Dead in six months. Yeah, but it's not your body. I feel like it. I I would rather let V make her final choices in her own body and die. Like you know what I mean? Like I don't know, Johnny. It just seems weird. It, that that ending seems weird to me that he would want to take over P's body. That's not, that would be weird. That's strange. We should go be with Alt in cyberspace where he belongs, where he should have stayed, you know? I'm glad that, that V can go out on her own terms, you know? Tie up any loose ends, whatever. They should all go in V's body. Just a whole party in there. Um, but yeah. Uh. I guess. Oh my god. Some violence happening over here. But yeah, I'm gonna go. Woof! E. Hold in here. Um, so I'll be right back.
died? What do you mean? How did I die? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? No. <laughs> What do you mean? Ah. <laughs> uh, why am I in the middle of the road? Jesus. <laughs> what the hell? What even happened? I just went flying. God, okay. Oh my gosh, that's funny. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, that's funny. Hi, Jenna, welcome in. Oh, welcome, hello. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Oh, that's... Funny as fuck. Okay. We just need to... Three mouths. One desire. Oh my gosh. Okay. Alright. Um... Fuck. Where are we? We need to go play Roach Race. <clears throat> Oh, here's the fast travel point. Most excellent. Oh man, that's funny, dude. That's silly. Oh, and then I, I, we have to do uh, the five second rule. Do some five second records. Um, yeah. Um, hey, come on, lady, welcome in. Um <laughs> How do you increase traffic? They do seem quite This is so that's the most unrealistic thing about this is like cities have way more traffic. All right. So, let me see if I can remember exactly where we go. We walk towards I don't remember. Oh, we go up the stairs. I think we go up the stairs. <clears throat> we go up the stairs towards the blue. Towards a sign. And all the way to the bottom. What? What? Avoid getting into... What the fuck is going on right now? I will literally fucking blow your head off. Are these guys fucking for real? 
I did the wheel spin. I did the wheel spin and you got a five second roll card. So we're going to do that in a sec. I'm just going to get to the... Uh... The roach race first. I'm hit. You're dead. You're actually dead, bro. You're not dead. Oh, there's the ignite. Oh, God. There we go. Nice. I forgot. I forgot to remember. I forgot to remember. Uh, where is fucking Roach Race, bro? Here it is! I know, that was so rude. Okay. Let's do some five second roll cards. I don't know which side. Okay, we did that side. Okay. I saw it, so. Oh my god, we'll do a couple. We'll do a couple. I'm so bad at these, so. Uh, wish me luck. Should I even draw the, should I even do this? Should I even turn this thing, or should I just, should I just, just say three things fast? I could set my own timer. That way it rings, um, for all of us. Hold on, maybe I should do that so you guys can actually, although this makes a funny noise. <laughs> it makes a funny noise when you turn it. How do I, ch other. I can literally set a 10 second timer on the stream deck. Hold on. Let me do that. I feel like that is better. We'll do five second rule. Okay. I'll do my best. <laughs> Get to listen to the sick roach race song. I guess I don't even need to be in this scene but okay all right ready okay <clears throat> things you can bet on um uh horses streamers cards i nailed it that was that was easy 10 seconds easy okay uh okay this is people who od'd People who OD'd, uh, like, actual legit people? Like, their names? I don't remember their names! Uh, I lose, I guess. I don't know their names. Like, rock stars and... You know... <sighs> junkies. Fucking... Probably Johnny Silverhand. Okay, well, that one was, that one was too hard. That was too hard. I think I was only supposed to do one side though, actually. I'll add it to the back. I don't know. Do you guys really know? Do you guys really know people? Name three people who have OD'd. You know their actual legit names. You really, you can name three people off the top of your head who has OD'd. Like what? Okay, I'll do another one. Okay. Times pain is a good thing. Well, okay. Sex, tattoos, um. <laughs> I can't think of a third thing. Time 
dreams. Pain is a good thing. Sex and tattoos, that's all I got. Your finger's hurting when you play guitar too much. That's definitely, that's a sign of progress. Nailed it. Knowing you need, a pain is a signal. But I mean, some pain is nice pain. Like, uh, like pa the pain of getting a tattoo is like pleasant. And then there's like consensual, consensual sexual practices that could be painful, but in a good way. There's like a good pain. Actually, you know what kind of pain that I, it's kind of interesting. There's like, um, like the kind of pain that's like uncomfortable, but doesn't necessarily hurt. You know what I mean? Pain telling you to see a, a doctor is good pain. I would say that's bad pain. That's probably really serious pain. You know, that's like, that's not fun pain. I think this is talking about fun pain. I don't know. Do you guys have any fun pain ideas? Hi, Demonoid. Yeah, yeah, dude, my fingers get so sore after playing guitar for a while, but it's a good sign. Oh yeah, muscle pain, muscle pain. Yeah, so the, it's, I mean, that's the whole point of pain is to signal your body that it's, it's something wrong. That's not good pain. Okay, I'll do one more and then continue. Conspiracies? Oh, the moon is a base. Uh, the world is flat. And uh, Avril Levine is not real. She's a mimic or something. <laughs> that's, uh, that's the only thing I could think of. <laughs> uh, nailed it. Birds aren't real. Nailed it, that's a good one. God damn. Elvis never died, he went to his planet? Uh, that could just be what happened when we die. My fingertips, especially my left index and middle fingers aren't sore, then I need to pick up my guitar up. Yeah, I need to, Um, I need to, to build up my calluses on my finger better. Yeah, there's a conspiracy that the moon's like not real and uh, that's the most insane thing I've ever heard. Well, maybe not the most insane thing, but it's up there. It's certainly up there. <sighs> All right, gosh. Never fade away. Yeah, we should definitely, that'd be a fun one to cover, I think. Um, it literally sounds like a song that actually exists, though. But I wonder if that's just because maybe I've heard it before playing the game. Is there chords up? Never fade away. Oh yeah, those chords, the chords are really easy. All right, bet. Cal, hello. You said that backwards. Building up calluses after all the wire wrapping. Yeah, I bet. I don't know, demonoid. I don't know. What scares me? It's scary out there. You're asking a masochistic motherfucker like me what good pain is? Yeah, the short TOS answer is yes. <laughs> uh, honestly. All right, should we play some road race? I feel like this seems... Hi, Moon. Best use of our time. Wait, Moon. Oh. <laughs> Hi. 
Hello. Well, I wasn't ready. Moon has decided I'm not ready. I need my keyboard, ma'am. I need my keyboard. The reason there was a race to get to the moon was to get alien salvage from battles long ago to bring back to Earth and reverse engineering it. VVM Derpy. Um. Oh, wow, look at that. Baron Lord Satan. Oh, and <laughs> Your dark flame has been reignited. Go forth and spread the darkness. Alright, Moon had to walk right in front of me. Moon's doing chaos. Moon! Moon, you want to be knighted? We haven't. I don't I don't think she would be. I don't think she would be interested. You wanna sit in my lap? Yeah, that that conspiracy theory, emo. Fucking whack. Fucking whack. Moon! Uh, Darth Chocobo, welcome in. Hello. I'm doing well, Satan. How are you? A moon, Moon's like a higher rank than I am. I don't even think I can knight Moon. I think Moon knights me at this point. Time to play Road Trace. All right. <clears throat> Let's do this thing. I'm going for number one! <laughs> Maybe. Oh. Thanks, Satan. How are you today? I don't think that was entirely necessary, but. Join the army of darkness, don't resist. And in donk, lady. Yo, Terrazzo. Thank you for the 16 months. Flappy horse. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Yes. Flappy, are you trying to? What's Flappy Horse? Wait, I thought I understood that, but then I don't think I actually do. <gasps> um. Oh, there's lots of new bee emotes I see. Very nice. Terrazzo, your dark flame has been reignited. 
go forth and spread the darkness. To act three in Baldur's Gate three in a second playthrough? Damn, you're committed. Flappy Bird, oh. I don't know what that is. I've never, I don't think, have I played that? I don't think I've, I'm not sure. I think I was thinking Angry Birds, and then I was like, wait, that's not it. That's not what we're talking about. Oh my god, I literally clicked my fucking spacebar, but I didn't like fully commit to clicking it. God damn it. I like half clicked it. Oh, that was going so well. Are you fucking serious? How did I miss that apple? That's insane. Oh my god. That was scary. Four new ones. Okay, hold on. I need to fully look at those in a sec. Mmm! Kind of sounds familiar, but I don't really know why. Um, it was so frustrating. It was taken off the stores. What? That's so stupid. <laughs> what? Oh, cute. I like the running. I like the running one. Those are very cute. Really great animator. She's got. Trying to get the high score on this made me lose a part of my sanity permanently. Well, I don't really have much to lose, I guess, so. I suppose it's for the best. You avoid obstacles while trying to stay in the air. Didn't we play a game like that? Remember when we played, we played a puppet combo game called Rewind or Die, and there was an arcade game in that, and wasn't that like Flappy Bird, or am I imagining that? Am I, wasn't there, I remember playing an arcade game, and wasn't it something similar? He was getting... Death threats? It's so stupid. Oh my god, that's so dumb. You played a copy of it in Rewind or Die? Yeah! Yeah! What did you choose when Alt gave you the option? I chose to be with Alt in cyberspace. You can touch the ground. Yeah, you just have to avoid obstacles. Yeah. It's less intense. It's still intense, but less intense. Oh, I missed the carrot. Damn. I really wanted that carrot. Do I want the... Yeah, okay. I, I think the carrots are more valuable. I do feel like they get us more points overall. No! Puppet combo is so good, yeah. Oh man, I love their games. I love like the VHS style. And they're always like silly. They're always like, there's still tension, but they're always very silly at the same time. But you guys know I, I appreciate that with horror. 
It's intentionally silly. Satan, thank you for the bits. Oh no, I fucked up. Ah, oh, saved it. I made a mistake. Yoink. It's remarkable how entertaining this game is. <laughs> Truly. Rewind or die, Blockbuster was brutal. That game was really good. God damn. Yeah, man. Good times. Good heckin' times. Bloodwash? I have I like I have such fond memories of that game. I think that was the first puppet combo game I played. <clears throat> I think so. And it did not disappoint. That's for sure. It's weird that they have the Wait, can I do like a a short jump? Okay, no, it's like literally one jump height. They try to trick you with those with those tall barricades. Oh my God, and Christmas Massacre, that was such a fun fucking stream, holy shit. That was the, that was the perfect, that was the perfect Christmas game. Oh my god, deranged Santa and the tree, the tree that convinced me to kill people. Oh man, that was so good. <laughs> that was so good. Oh my god, I just had a heart attack there for a second. Holy smokeroonies. Oh, I panicked. Classic. Typical. Oh my god! Okay, things are really getting fucking crazy up in here. I feel like I'm going so much faster. Holy shit. Grab his dick and twist it. Whose dick am I grabbing? <gasps> I'm definitely being less adventurous with my... Okay, nice. No, I just secure it. No! Ah! You bastard! Yeah, we got a new high score though! Oh yeah, I should change the title of the game. That was such a good run, holy. I'm in the zone today. <clears throat> Welcome back, Quant. We beat the game. 
Then I go back to Roach Race. <laughs> Praise our elite iridescent ranked Roach Race player. Yeah, Rewind or Dive was the one where we were being like chased during through the tunnels and stuff, right? Damn. Good times, bro. We're gonna have a little like horror night again. Good times. Play some puppet combo. Mm-hmm. The pig guy. So random. We beat the game! We did! We did! Woo! Okay. We go again. We're slowly we can we can be we can do this. Barbo Captain Barbosa? <laughs> um hell yeah. I think I might get a glass of wine, actually, if there's any wine left. Zach, is there wine left? Did I get a glass of wine? Get me one too? Alright. Less. Give me a moment, my dear friends, to go get a glass of wine for everyone. Libations for all. Oh, Alistair wants to start a prediction. I like the way you think. Let me see. <clears throat> Prediction time. Start prediction. It'll be a two minute prediction time. Is that long enough? Two minutes? Is two minutes long enough? Two minutes should be long enough, right? Father Rooster, hello. Gamble. You think I'm gonna get number one first place? We're, we just got 2732 and we have to beat 3354. Gamble away your lives. I like that this is a one-handed game so I can drink my wine and play at the exact same time. It's actually perfect. I could even like eat a sandwich or like snack on chips or something while I did this. That's, that is peak gaming. <laughs> I don't know why I jumped over that guy. I'm just glad I'm not the only one who thinks that thinks that this is like a highlight of cyberpunk. <laughs> I love it so much. I'm a simple lady. <clears throat> I'm starving. We're starving for carrots over here. God damn it. <laughs> I 
There we go. Carrot get! We're eating good now. Yeah, buddy! Aw, does it... It doesn't carry over, though. So it's kind of a waste, but... Better than nothing. No! Oh, I... That was stupid. It's basically as good as Gwen. It's close. Did everyone gamble? Any non-believers? Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, no. That was bad. That was a bad one. It's okay. Doesn't mean anything. Sloppy. Oh my goodness gracious. I fucking fuck that up real bad. I believe this <laughs> thing. The wine! I only had one sip! <laughs> How am I supposed to get that one for real? No, I'm just, I'm just, you know, I gotta make the believers sweat a little bit, you know? What can I say? I gotta make them question their life choices. Too. I like to say that it's yeah, it's definitely more of a feature than a bug. They know this. They know this to be true. Not having a carrot just really makes you see how fucking slow he is. Holy! Feels like we're moving in slow motion. Shoot! I should have tried and snuck in that. I don't know if I was gonna make that, but I guess it's better to be safe. How did I jump? of low We're kind of low in points right now does the carrot make me jump further or maybe not
There's definitely like a fair bit of RNG to this too though. And you know. Oh, frick. God damn, you're ruining everything. Stupid griffin. Whoa. That was scary. Dude, when they start moving at a diagonal, that's when you gotta start sweating. Like, I think this one, is it this one where they start moving at crazy diagonals? Oh my God. This is when I start stressing. This one has the best soundtrack though. Wait. Wait, 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 what? What was I to do there? Jump earlier? Oh, you just have to triple jump fast enough? Hmm. Pretty good first round. Zed, how dare you? <laughs> no back seating. <laughs> Rather have <gasps> that guy sure came out of nowhere. I want to go horseback riding. I got to go horseback riding before the summer's over. I haven't been out at all this year. Oh my god, you guys. I bought tickets yesterday for the Evil Dead musical. It's coming back to Toronto for the first time in like seven years. And I got tickets for the Splatter Zone, which is like the first, like, I don't know, six rows or so. Which was expensive. They were literally a hundred dollars of tickets, but I was like, bro, I have to. That was so stupid. I cannot believe I fucking did it. I can't believe I did that. Like I was like, don't do that. And then and then my the, my the devil on my shoulder was like, do it. And I was like, I, this is a bad idea. And then I just did it anyway. <laughs> Timber. 
Yeah, they made a musical based on Evil Dead. Uh, Theron, hello! It's good. It's good. The game is good. We're playing Road Race. Exactly, just like that, Pu'er. Yeah, I uh, so I got tickets to go see it. In, it's it's here, October and November, and uh, I could not I could not resist. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm so excited. Ah! I'm so excited. Yeah, devil on my shoulder was like, but we should be greedy. Hi, Barn. I saw a musical a musical of it when I was lived in Portland. And it was so fun. It sounds like it's gonna be fun. I mean, I am like a huge Evil Dead fan, and yeah, I, I what what more Evil Dead content? How could I? I lo also love live theater. I think it's. I'm not a big fan of like musicals at, as like a movie. Like I like some of them, but not typically a lot. But I dare say it was a hoot. Oh, I'm so excited. Yeah, that's good to hear. Um, but yeah, like live theater musical performances are really sweet. I love that. So I'm excited and. Bring it splat. We're in the splatter zone, <laughs> which I guess like at certain parts there's blood spray, which is so fun. That's so fucking fun. I love that. Uh, um, I'll try and um, yeah, I'll have to take like a before and after picture of what I look like going into it and coming out. There's passion for yeah, dude. The evil like I feel like the community of Evil Dead enjoyers is like so. It's very dedicated. And yeah, comedy gore is like my favorite. Oh man, I'm so excited. That's great to hear. Hell yeah, Barn. Hell yeah, welcome in by the way. Um, uh, they made it impossible to knock Jackie off the leaderboard. Well, no, you, no one really gets removed from the leaderboard. You just move up it. Right? Um, people that musical will get me to lurk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, that's great. Um, thanks for lurking. Yeah, oh, I'm so excited. I'm so stoked. I try to go to like local plays sometimes, usually with like, I'll go with my mom and my sister. I think we have one coming up in a, in a couple weeks. Um, I do, live theater is really fun, but normally it's like, eh, I'm not super invested one way or another. Um, actually, I think the last time I went to Toronto for uh, a theater performance was, uh, maybe the Book of Mormon? Uh, which was a long time ago. I don't know, was I there for, I think of what the last one I saw in Toronto was. I know we saw like Lion King there. I think we saw... Did we see... I don't remember... Wicked? Um... Yeah, this will be really cool. I want Roach Roach Race the musical. <laughs> we need The Witcher 3 the musical. <laughs> oh no. Bungled that one up.
I didn't mean to do that. Oh well. Good thing it recharges really fast. Actually, I like this song too. doesn't that brings you to the ground like right away okay i see i didn't want that i didn't want it. i should have just well you know hi max how are you welcome in oh have you played a trace i'm trying to get first place it's very hard um, I've been doing pretty good. Yeah. Streaming more uh, part-time right now to pursue more musical endeavors and such. But yeah, so things have been good. Different, some changes, but it's been good. Aw. Come on! Actually, did that do it that time? Is that Grim? Grim? What are you doing? Grim. Grimmies. Good night, Faka. Have a great sleep. Yeah, we played a show on the weekend. Hopefully to many more. Hi, Gwims! Hello, Gwimsies! Grim, I just want to squish you. I just want to squish your little head. So cute. I just want to squish him! Hello! Grim Clutch is here! No. Oh my gosh, I love him so much. He's so cute. I could die! Grim, I could die. You're so cute. Some boy. Oh, yeah, he's laying down. He's laying down. The Grimmy has landed until I start screaming, and then he'll be gone. Once I start yelling. Once I make a critical error and start yelling profanities, I'm sure he'll be gone. My sensitive boy. He's 
sorry, Grim. You take after me. Preparing to make bread. Let's get that bread, Grim. That's what I'm talking about. No. God damn it. Uh, Cyberpunk, will we beat the game? No, Grim, don't leave. I didn't even yell. What have I done? To deserve this fate. So now I'm just playing, I'm just playing Road Race because why not? I liked the ending for the most part. It left a little bit to be desired at the end. I was a little, I was like a little like, just a little disappointed, I guess, but I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I feel like uh, I'm happy with the ending that we chose. I feel like the ending that we chose was acceptable. I guess they're setting up for a second game, so yeah. I guess that might be why. There was like a cliffhanger or whatever. I'm gonna do the DLC, uh, but not... I'm actually fucking dumb. Um, uh, I did the ending where Johnny goes into cyberspace and V goes to infiltrate the crystal palace or whatever it's called, but we don't actually, we don't actually do that. It just kind of alludes to it. So it's the human condition. Hi, gentle sin. That's... That's for goddamn sure. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't, I choose, I chose not to do the um, DLC yet because I just feel like I'm not, I'm just not really mentally there for another like 20 hours of cyberpunk. I did enjoy it, but not, not enough to want to do that. And you know what? I want to do shit that I want to do. <laughs> you know? So I am trying to just honor that. Do we have the high score? Hi, Scary. Not yet, but we're in the top three. We did get a new high score today, but we are not the high score. The next game, I want to play Dark Souls 2. I, I miss Souls games a lot. <laughs> so I, uh, I'm going to play Dark Souls 2. <clears throat> that is what I wish. I'm taking the reins, but we still have the game wheel. It's just going to be more of like a voluntary thing. So like when I'm like between games and I'm looking for something new to try, I will spin the wheel. You know what I mean? Fuck. So I'm not uh, trying to keep up with all these games all the time. Um, Cause I just don't have enough time. Like I can't stream at the same intensity that I was streaming at before. So I just feel like I don't have enough time to dedicate to these things, you know? So I have to narrow my focus a little bit. Um, but yeah, it'll still, we'll still have it, but.
Oh my god. <laughs> I almost choked. Gasping there for air. <sighs> I can't tell if that guy was going to hit me or not. These apples are dodging me. Thanks for looking scary. Yeah, I'm excited for SummerSlam. That was a little sketchy. Oh my goodness, that was very sketchy. Yeah, Jesus Christ. So fucking fast. Holy shit, it's so fast. No! I thought I was gonna clear it! Ah! Please have fun. Yes, two is gonna be. It's going to be a game that you play. It sure will. I'm excited. I'm excited. Oh my god, it's gonna be a, a game that that's like refreshing for me that people aren't like dick riding the whole time. <laughs> it's actually. Re I think. I think it's gonna be refreshing if everyone's like hates it for a change, and then I'm gonna be like, oh okay. Uh, give me a chance to. Um. You know. <laughs> uh, you know what I mean. The cyberpunk dick riding was... Was a lot, but... The DS2 hard is... At least, at least Souls games are justifiably... Uh... Celebrated. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I don't know. I don't feel like there's many Dark Souls 2 enjoyers, though. I'm not gathering. I'm not gathering that there are many Dark Souls 2 enjoyers. Um. But, um, I know that it's going to be. It's going to be really tough. 
I'm pretty sure it has the demon souls. Um, I'm pretty sure it brings back the whole demon souls things where, with your where you, your humanity, where when you take damage you lose your health bar, which is intense. But I don't know the other reasons why people why people don't like it. I, I feel like. That's probably one of them. Uh, I think there's like some janky movement or like hitbox or something too. I'm trying to think of all the complaints I've heard about it. Wait, fucking, oh my God, I'm so I blame chat. See? Chat is to blame sometimes. I need to stop reading and writing. DS2 is interesting because it's basically everyone agrees it's the bottom of the barrel with demon souls, but those who don't feel like it's but those who don't feel like it's their favorite. Right, right, right. I guarantee some of that is because everyone hates it. And so those people who do like it, they feel like they probably have to like really, really lean into it. You know what I mean? That it's great. Because I feel like when other people hate something that you like, you have to just, it, it suddenly, you feel like you have to, you end up defending it maybe more than you might and then it, you know, it worms its way into your heart like that. Dude, the griffins are out of control right now. They're overpopulated. Geralt, please handle this. Gerald should be running behind me with his, like, crossbow or something. Not me trying to read chat right now. Death Trap Dungeon? I don't think so. DS2 is maybe the hardest Souls game for me and it has nothing to do with the enemy's difficulty. Yeah, from what I gather, it's it's the way, it's like the mechanics of the game that people are not so keen on. <laughs> yeah, no, I think, I, I honest to God think that Cyberpunk is a good game. I just am like not super, that's just not my jam that much, you know? Um, I can see its appeal as like, you know, something to just like kind of explore and whatnot, but I just think that that gets a little bit old for me. Um, but it's, it's, it's a finely crafted game. I, I will give it that. I just, um, yeah, I just, I don't know. I just don't, it's not really my thing. I prefer more, more fantasy style stuff, I suppose.
Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> this level's pure fucking stress. This is when the heart rate starts. Starts to climb. That's for sure. No! You missed the apple! You goddamn useless son of a bitch. It's great it's still and has lots of things that are much approved upon from DS1. Okay, that's refreshing to hear. It actually wasn't your fault that time. You take responsibility. All right, deal. Thanks, Nezadam. <laughs> uh, I'm glad you played Cyberpunk. I feel bad it wasn't something you love like I do. Don't feel bad. If I hated it, I wouldn't have continued it. Well, maybe I would have. Because I'm stubborn. And like when I played Shadow of the Colossus, I suffered through that whole game for unknown reasons. It was, it was entertaining. I mean, it's entertaining. Things are entertaining enough. But it is not. Yeah, if, I, if everyone loved all the same games, all the games would be the same. Yeah, what? there's a quote that's like... A game for everybody. Or there's like a quote that's like, a thing for everybody is a thing for nobody. Or something like that. There's a quote like that. Hi, Sharky! How you doing? Welcome. What have you been playing these days? Any good new uh, horror games and stuff? Hello. How goes it? goes well. We finished Cyberpunk today, finally. Whew. And then now I'm playing Road Trace because this was the highlight of... This was one of the highlights of Cyberpunk for me. I don't know if you've played <laughs> Cyberpunk, but... <clears throat> uh <gasps> movie night from itch no but that's i like the name movie night is already sounds good i have been thinking recently that i want to do another little horror game uh night so that is good i'm going to okay i'm taking it's like 10 minutes oh okay perfect i love i i do love short short games that really deliver you know um, okay. Make note of this. I hope you've been well. Shadow of the Colossus is a great game, but it feels repetitive. It's very repetitive, and playing on hard was definitely a mistake. Just because... I, I just... My expectations of the game were not even close to reality. I, I thought I was expecting... I was expecting like souls type combat with the beasts and so I was like yeah let's do hard mode and really you know struggle with it but I little did I know that it was more like a puzzle than anything. It just became fun I suppose to shit on wander the whole time. Yeah it's like a platform puzzle I was like what the hell is go even going on? Gosh, Wander just pissed me off so much, man. He was just such a fucking useless, dumb character. Like, he was actually... Everything he did, just so stupid. <laughs> uh, so that didn't help matters. That did not help matters at all. Um... <laughs> An apple a day keeps the witcher away. Is that what we're... We don't want to do that. Uh, I do think part of the wave of 2077 fandom rabidity is just because they did put a lot of work into fixing the game for where it started at launch. So you have both people who enjoyed it since then and people were disappointed at launch. 
saying that they were, yeah, it's nice that they fixed it up for everyone. When everybody's super, no one will be syndrome. The Incredibles, oh. Yeah, yeah, there's like a, I mean, yeah, that can be applied to a lot of things, yeah. It's nice that we all have our own opinions on things. Has the PS2 camera? Oh yeah, yeah. Which they did not fix in the remaster. It did play on hard, yeah. It was a mistake. You loved Shadow because it was an unexpected experience when it came out. I didn't I think that was a lot of like I think a lot of people's attachment. I don't know if you've played it since then. Uh, but I think a lot of people just had nostalgia for it. You know, they had the nostalgia goggles on a little bit. So as a new person playing that game, like last year i think it was last year you played the raster but you played it okay and you still enjoyed it still loved it i feel like nostalgia it's gotta be there's gotta be i need to talk to someone who's never played it and then played the remaster recently i need to know what they i need to know what they thought about it or if it was just me that also planned <laughs> played on hard maybe <laughs> that probably didn't help uh, you love it still. Well, you guys are fucking crazy, okay? <laughs> oh my god, and, there, and it, it was gonna be longer. It already felt like it went on too long, and they were gonna have like 30 Colossi or whatever. Although I will say, there was one, the Bird Colossus fight was the best one. The big, where you had to jump on the wing. You were like in that pool of water and you had to jump. That was that was really fun. That was really sick. But for the most part, it was just, you know, it was a little repetitive. Like I think at first I was like, yeah, this is cool. And then it really, really wore me down. But like, yeah, I, I think I got like one hit a lot of the time. So it was just like unpleasant for that reason alone. I'm sure I, I, I think I just ruined my, my own experience, perhaps. But my god, it was... It was a struggle. Yeah, the bird was so cool. I was like, all right, this is sick. But then it was all downhill from there. Like, that actually felt really cool. And it made me... It also made me really sad. At first, I was I was like excited about it, and then I don't know. I I started feeling really sad that I was killing these creatures, and it, I was just like, "Fuck this fucking stupid shit!" Like, what is this stupid little tiny insignificant man doing? Who does he think he is? This fucking loser. And the ending and the ending made me sad. It made me not sad. It made me mad. He was like reborn or something i don't know i was like no please remove him forever from life but i can probably imagine at the time that it came out yeah it was it was quite remarkable The silent, yeah, it's told of the silent movie. I did, I did enjoy a certain. There was like, it was very. You could explore a lot though, but there wasn't a lot of things to find, which kind of disappointed me too. Because like, I love exploring and finding like loot or like secrets and things like that. So there was like so much expanse. I mean, it was, it was cool. It was pretty and stuff, but there wasn't really much to find, unfortunately. But um, these are my individual qualms. Probably oh, magnified because of my challenges. <laughs> horse from Colossus or Roach? Um, what was the horse's name? It was like... Something with an A. It started with an A. Aggro! Uh, I gotta go Roach. I gotta go Roach. But Aggro was a better character than Wander was. <laughs> Thinking it's something else and being disappointed. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. I guess I was excited at first and then it just like, I was like, oh, it's just so repetitive. Then the time trials and hard. Okay, wow.
You miss spamming the word Khaleesi? Mm-hmm. It's like an intro into video games, that game. If that was my intro into video games, I would never play another video game again. No, I'm just kidding. That was... That's extreme. But... You get my point. It's one of your favorites up there with Metal Gear Solid. Oh... You lie. <laughs> what, I lie about it being extreme? Or I lie... What I lie about? One of your faves. Wow, okay. I, I do remember when I was playing that game, everyone was like, this is the best game. This game is so good. And I was like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> With gaming now, we are spoiled. The ceiling for games has gone up in quality since then. The quality of life aspects of games have gone better. That's true. That's true. Although I can play old games. I actually really do enjoy playing old games and I like. I like the janky and clunkiness of like older games and, and stuff like I mean fuck I played I played like Resident Evil 1 and loved it and that is like as atrocious camera movement and stuff but there is a charm to it I think I just have to I think I guess it just really does come down to preference and also Cypher thank you for the bits I must have missed that that was an hour ago but I don't think I said thank you for that I was like Cypher cheered and I was like wait a second uh, so I don't know that I don't I wouldn't say that's why I didn't like it. It wasn't really mechanically the things that I didn't like about it. I just I just didn't like the structure of it, I suppose. It's unique. It is definitely unique. It's a love story. Yeah, I guess that was kind of open to interpretation though. I didn't know. Was it a love story? Oh yeah, was it? It was his girlfriend. Was that? His, it was his girlfriend. Or was it his like sister? Was it his girlfriend? I can't even remember. I think I blocked it out of my mind. You find all the fruits and lizards. Uh, I found some of them. Uh, I think I just. I don't know. I. I I definitely explored, but I didn't realize that you could even kill the lizards for a long time, so. I don't know. I don't know if I did. Um. Um. Demonoids, uh. Okay. You're the expert on Shadow of Classes, I guess. Okay. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed it. I'm glad you love it so much. It's pretty straightforward. Okay. I did not find it straightforward, personally. Maybe it's straightforward to you now that you know you've played it so many times. If they released it on PC, I'd buy it. Where did I play it on? Oh, I guess I must have played it on PlayStation. <clears throat> Yeah, not all stories are for everyone. That's true. I mean, maybe I would have liked the story <laughs> more than the game if I knew what the story was, which I didn't really. I I mean, perhaps if I wasn't streaming it, it'd be easier to pay attention if it was presented silent movie style. Like, that's a cool 
That's a cool approach, I suppose, but I I did not uh, gather really much of what was going on between them. Sometimes that can be a fault of streaming is that you just, you miss things or you're not paying as close attention to decipher all the details. Um, so it does help when there's like a little bit more information to go off. <laughs> you know. Oh, fuck. Yeah, there's definitely games that are better to stream than others. Um, I suppose that's one of the disadvantages of the wheel as well. I mean, it gets me to play new games, but I guess not all games are good choices as stream games, which are hard. It's hard to kind of accept that um, or even realize it. Like that was recommend. The game was a wheel game. It was recommended to me. Um, so perhaps my experience with it would have been differently if I if I had, had totally allowed myself to be immersed immersed in it. Um, I just yeah. I think I I fundamentally just was like annoyed by the. I think the combat just like really fucking annoyed me after time. So uh, that that just you know one thing can I guess suppose sour a whole experience. How much to stream Minesweeper? Lumen, thank you for the 100 bits. Actually, I did stream Minesweeper once. I don't remember. I don't know if I would have ever been, though, Demonoid. I don't, like, I personally had no interest in I don't know if I would have ever played it, if not for that. You know? So... Like I had never even heard of it. And I was, I when I read, when I was like, oh, this game sounds so sick. Like I was actually excited for it. I thought it sounded really cool and it seemed to be well received, but I just didn't, yeah, I just didn't enjoy the gameplay personally. Um, overall, like some of it was fine, but yeah, it just didn't, yeah, it just didn't, it wasn't really super enjoyable. Um, yeah, like I, I thought the concept was cool. I just, I don't know, I, in execution, it wasn't the best for me. You didn't like Game of Thrones. It, it's a political drama, CBM. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. <laughs> the books are excellent. I liked Game of Thrones. I mean, I didn't watch the show until recently. I had read all the books and then watched the show. And I knew going into the show that people were upset. Like the production of the show is excellent. I thought I thought Game of Thrones was really good. And even the last season, I wasn't entirely disappointed with because I think I went into it knowing that people um, had qualms with it. So for me, I enjoyed it. Nonetheless, I, you could tell that it was rushed. And, you know, there was aspects of it that I didn't fully enjoy, but, um, for what it was. Um, yeah. It had too much sexual assault. Dude, that's just, like, a sign of the times, though. It's historically accurate. Unfortunately. <clears throat> that's literally, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> kind of it's kind of the way it was unfortunately um yeah i can see that being i mean it is unsettling i think that's part of it though is like they want you to feel angry about it you know you're supposed to feel upset about that you know that's part of like the the gritty and tragic nature of that story you know it's not a it's not a nice story it's very yeah very depressing tale altogether
That was bait. That was bait. Um, yeah, Shadow's unique. It's either a love or a hate. Yeah, I can see that. I can see that. I still think nostalgia plays a huge part in it. I'll die on this hill. But I suppose it has a hand in, in a lot of things. No, I didn't. Uh, let me do that. I don't know how that happened. What the heck? Believers are going hungry, I think. You were mad when your ex's mom spoiled the very last episode of Game of Thrones for me. Were you mad? Why the kappa? <laughs> the Gwinny. Yeah, but that was part of the is part of the story, Demonoid. There's still hum it's still humans. Like even though even though Westeros is like a fictional place, it was still like about humanity. Um, I don't want that in my escapism. Fair enough. Fair enough. I'm surprised that you like cy cyberpunk so much then. Nostalgia will always play a role in how we view media. Yeah. Totally. It was relaying frustration. Okay. I don't know. I don't think we can escape from stupid humanity. It's in everything. It's in everything. You know? It's how we relate to the story, I suppose, is the human elements. Good and bad, the things that, you know, charge us emotionally, good or bad. Right? That's how I see it anyway. God. We're making a lot of close calls, dude. You just you watch the show, right? Are you talking about are you talking about the books? The books just like provide you did you I'm assuming you read the books, right? Do you want
Oh, Roach. Hi, Pickle. Um, Give me good outcomes and choices and telling interesting human stories. I see, I see. Yeah, uh, Game of Thrones is definitely a tragedy, yeah. That's fair, you know? We all have our interests. I understand if you want more positive things. <clears throat> That's fair. Yeah, the books were much better. Um, Sepna, hello. This is in this is an arcade game inside of Cyberpunk. Uh, hi, Chaotic Cran. You can't be a unicorn. I know they need to introduce like skins for Roach in this game. Maybe that'd be nice if you could. Oh god, if you could. Fuck, if you could unlock those. The more you play. God damn it! Um. Well, I don't. I don't know. I, I, you haven't read the book, so how can I? How can we have this discussion about the books? Yeah, that's that's fair. No, I like tragedies, so like I I I, I enjoyed it. I guess we'll just have to agree to disagree. You know. There was plenty of tension release, I'd say. In one way or another. Dude, the books aren't even finished, unfortunately. So it's probably for the best that you didn't read them. Because who knows if they ever will be finished. Tragic. That's the real tragedy of it all. The cliffhanger. <laughs> You're keeping the faith. I'm keeping the faith too. I still have faith. I'm not in any rush because... There's countless other books for me to read, but it is quite funny. I guess, you know, I, I blame Game of Thrones for souring that whole experience. What the fuck? Yeah, the books are good. Um... Well, he couldn't write about it. What they had a contract where he like wasn't like he was working with the show. I think, I mean, the the show having being so poorly received at the end, I'm sure did not wasn't a motivating thing for him, right? I feel like it's really silly to make media on a, a book series that isn't finished. I feel like. I feel I, as an author, that would make me wary of creating my own ending too, you know? Like, I feel like that would be kind of disappointing, you know? Good or bad, really, right? It's bad, even if it was well received at the end, I feel like that would maybe even be worse, you know? Because they obviously took it in a different direction and they kind of just had to do their own thing, but... Yeah, so I feel like, I feel like that just kind of probably ruined the whole I, I I I don't know what their intention was and they were hoping that it would just be done by the time they were they got there in the show but it just yeah it just doesn't make sense to me they basically just like took over the whole story there you know this is such bullshit Uh Yeah, they should have waited till it was done. You grabbed the caffeinated one. Oh no, Jenna. What's on the agenda? You got a long night ahead of you. Guy really came out of nowhere. 
here. Are you fucking serious? Yeah, we were talking about Floppy Bird re uh, earlier, actually. Oh my god. Hi, uh, Senpai, welcome back. Can't wait when there's money to be made. possibly won't finish them I d I mean there has been speculate I mean there has been word that he's been working on on winds of winter he was actively working on like Elden Ring and stuff so perhaps now that that is done he is able to return to his own stories right hello welcome readers How's it going, everyone? Welcome in. We finish Cyberpunk. Um, so we're playing Road Race because Road Race is so good. I want to get the high score. I'm in the top three, but I want to be number one. I got to be the very best. Um, yeah. Um, how was your stream today? What were you up to? Dragon Age. How's it going? We're also just talking about Game of Thrones, if you guys are Game of Thrones enjoyers. Um, people speculated that George R. R. Martin gave the show writers the major plot points, but I just don't see how such plot points were. You know, I, yeah, what do I think? Um, I don't think, no. I mean, I'm sure that he gave them plot points, but how well can you fully flesh it out when you're rushing to finish? I think, I think that it was the show creator's mistake because they did they wanted to they were supposed to change projects and they wanted they literally they literally rushed like the, they could have kept going they could have kept going i think and fully fleshed out maybe whatever plot points he might have um relayed to them um i'm sure he had some hand in its craft but i think ultimately i think one thing we know we we've realized especially like for example with the witcher and stuff like they don't care about the source material as much as like making a palatable show for people that is gonna like, you know, there, there has to be a degree of passion, which I think was there at the beginning. And I think it, yeah, it faded near the end because they wanted to finish it to do the, yeah, the Star Wars thing. So, um, yeah, do a, it's, maybe they gave them the plot points, but I think that ultimately they did not execute it, them. You know, I think they just did what they um what would would what would make the most sense um but i think people were probably upset with like daenerys going crazy at the end but i feel like that made perfect sense like i think that's a lot of i think people were upset by that and i i thought that that was really actually quite realistic and even alluded to throughout the show for sure um damn it spoilers get out of here <laughs> yeah it was literally like it did make perfect like i feel like we were upset with that but i was like that is like st I, like that felt it was sure yeah it was might have been upsetting because we wanted but i thought it was i thought it was i thought it was good i thought it was um i don't think she was insane I don't think she was necessarily insane, but she did, she did succumb to her, um, her, I mean, yeah, um, I'm only on season four, are you actually? <laughs> uh -huh. Oh my god. Uh, yeah. Well, I did say we were talking about Game of Thrones. Okay, so that is your mistake for listening. <laughs> um, yeah, I finished it. I got, I went, I did the ending where 
Um, Johnny went into cyberspace and V tried to shoot up Cyber Palace or whatever it was called. Crystal Palace. Um, I guess alluded to that. Uh, I didn't romance anyone, so that was that was all that happened. Um, so, um, yeah. I, um... Um, you got so amused with everyone being surprised with doing what she was building up to since her intro. Yeah, okay, you agree then. Despite a bad season seven, anywhere, I still think it was better than the 90% of the TV shows at the time, just given the context of G Game of Thrones. Was it fall off a cliff when compared to the early? Yeah, I think compared to the earlier seasons, it was lacking. Yeah, that's fair. I think that's fair. I think we all noticed the decline in in like effort for sure. Uh, I think it was definitely alluded to, um, more so, I feel like it was more so alluded to in the, in the, in the, uh, show than it was in the books. Um, like, I think in the books, it might be different. Um... But yeah, it was very rushed at the end, absolutely. What ending did you do when you played Rai? Hi, Rai. Uh, you got to the most satisfying moment on the TV. Oh no. <laughs> I, what was that? Yeah, the whole show you were definitely waiting for to, 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 to snap. I agree. I guess we all see what we want to see. We wanted better for her. Yeah, I think we wanted her to not be insane or not to make those choices. But I do think it was absolutely foreshadowed. Yeah, you can't like rewatch it. Rewatch it and look for it. Look for it, honestly. Um... Yeah, I I do I do think there was an attachment to her character and a love for her and a desire for her to like have a pause. Like I think we all wanted her to have a better a better option, you know. But yes, the execution wasn't great. That that we can all agree on. Um. I don't know, Timber, maybe. Yeah, I guess uh, anime does that, but anime, I don't know. They usually wait though, even if there's like a, an absence in, in, in um, manga, then they'll just, they'll do filler or whatever, right? They don't normally like finish the manga story, you know? But yeah, the show, the show and the books are different beasts, though. And Gamel, you've read the books. Um, so I think you're seeing you are used to a Daenerys that is a little bit different from the show Daenerys. Um, yeah, I mean, not we don't I don't, I don't think we're saying that she's like insane in that she is like mentally unwell but like she is angry <laughs> and she ha she's got you know there's there's some history i suppose some some there might be some um genetics there getting even is a form of insanity no it's it i mean it, it is that is kind of true um i feel like acting on violent impulse is not necessarily sane you know you're not thinking with your best mind do you know whether it's justified or not Uh, 
Um... Yeah. She did have every reason to be insane. I, yeah, I do, I don't know. I still think that she could have, yeah. Like she had a choice really at the end of the day and she chose to, to do that. So I think that that is obviously telling of a nature, you know? So, yes, interesting, very interesting indeed. Um, it's great to have these different takeaways though, you know, we all see something different, I suppose, but I do implore you to look for those. There, there are absolutely, I binged the shit out of it, like when everything was all out. So I feel like everything was really fresh in my mind as I made it through all the seasons. So I definitely noticed that there was foreshadowing to that. Um, Okay. There was there was some alluding to that. Um, part of the issue in the books, the Mad King isn't actually crazy either. Paranoid for sure, but he definitely earned that over the course of his life. So this whole the targets are nuts are really propaganda. Yeah, but I mean they are they're they're they have like a history of violence. But I mean, the whole society is kind of insane, right? I, 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 one thing kind of lends into the other. Okay, we gotta focus up. Is this harder than Mario? Uh, no. Are you strong with the force? A horse of, of course. Wesley, thank you for the bits. I've, oh god, I thought I made a critical mistake there. story was good very good my favorite storytelling element is the moral event horizon would you care to elaborate yeah yeah true no hello Wes welcome oh the dra oh man okay I know you didn't like Game of Thrones demonoid but might I request to you house of the dragon because house of the dragon is so good i mean it's not a happy story though so you might not still be into it but the dragons are excellent i think the dragon i think this this story is finally it's a lot of drama but i i'm loving house of the dragon so much it's a true delight to the senses um, I love all the, I think that they're the dragon. Yeah, it's definitely, tra I mean, the, the world is just tragic. I mean, 
Life is just tragic, isn't it? <laughs> uh, yeah, there's a lot. It's, yeah. Definitely more. Yeah, House of the Dragon is real, real good. It's a slow burn. It's a slow burn. Um, but I love it. It's juicy. The drama. The characters. Yeah. The, the culmination of events. I'm sure it will end horribly <laughs> maybe not but probably well yeah uh yeah it's great i just love all the dr the dragon stuff the dragon uh content is really good the first season wasn't slow i would say that it's it was a little slow you're waiting to watch the second season we all have tragic backstories. It's kind of true. We don't have to have tragic endings, but I do. I am a fan of. I am. I. I mean, I like a good happy ending in some circumstances. Absolutely, a happy ending is warranted. But I also do love. I love a good, a good tragic ending, where no one gets what they want, or everyone dies, or something horrible happens. <laughs> I just. I like that. I think it's. It's. It's real. Um, mm -hmm. well, they, they have, uh, dips and peaks, I suppose. Yes, The Mist is, like, one of my favorite horror movies. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, I never watched Rings of Power. I'm, I watched the first episode. I don't recall watching it, to be honest with you. I think we watched it in Discord after, like, a movie night or something, and I was just cooked, and I, I don't remember. I really don't even remember it. <laughs> but I'm just a little weary of that, but I sh I'll probably check it out eventually. Um, hi, Tomicide! Welcome in! Yeah! We're playing some... We finished Cyberpunk, so we're playing Road Race. I want to get number one, but I don't think it's going to happen today. Yeah, dude. Yeah. To each his own. Oh, hello, Moon. I see you've come to grow for me. When I cannot see your little butt is in the way. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Speed, if you're still here, did you play Road Trace? Were you a Road Tracer? Oh my gosh, Moon. I watched the first uh, season of Wheel of Time and I, I was enjoyable, but not. I, I guess it wasn't enjoyable enough that I felt like I had to continue watching it. Um, I do want to read the books, though, at some point. Moon, honestly, I, like, oh my god, fuck. What are you doing? Girl, I swear to god. Stop! She's all up in my business right now. You didn't play this? Why? <laughs> it's so good! <laughs> <sighs> I'm embarrassed about how much I played it. Honestly, honestly, same, same. I had shit to do. I get it. I understand. I was like mid. I'd be like mid, mid important mission, and then I would I would be like, oh, okay, road race. Just stop everything else that I was doing to play. And back to reality, I guess. Like, Jackie died, and then, like, 30 seconds later, I was playing Row Trace, you know? We all cope in different ways. <laughs> what, what was I meant to- what was I doing? <laughs> Where am I? <laughs> ah, good- good times. I love- I do enjoy a, a good game within a game. It's very eh for me. I do find that it would be probably very hard to live up to the original. Hi, Tanner. Okay, is my cat gone? I guess so. Um. I 
don't know. I do want to check. I do want to check our rings of power, though. I do feel like I owe it to the series as a fan to see what they have to formulate, you know, my own opinions of their creation. In time, I'll get there. Maybe after I'm done Bridgerton, I will... I mean, there's some animes I want to watch, but maybe I will... I want to rewatch... I actually really want to rewatch season one of House of the Dragon. So... I was going to do that after Bridgerton, but... <laughs> but... Maybe I'll watch Rings of Power. Is there only one season? There's only one season, right? Oh shit! I missed both of those. I was waiting for the carrot and then... Oh... Uh... <laughs> oh... I don't know! Believers! I don't know! You had the arcade games in your apartment? That's peak. That's peak. You like trauma drama more? I didn't like that one as much. Second season is dropping soon. Hi, orange juice. Oh, well, I guess if it was good enough to get a second season, I catch up. I love my, you love my top. Thank you. It's a, it's a, just like a harness. Satan believes. Uh oh. Is your favorite game within a game? Hmm. Hmm. It's up there for me. It is up there for me. I don't think of other games. Um. I don't think of other games within games. I don't know. You guys have any good examples? I'm thinking like. I mean, I love Gwen. Yeah, Gwen is amazing. Sardo Valley has some arcade games. Um... Another... I'm totally drawing a blank on, like, other games within games right now. I'm, like, drawing a major blank. I mean, I've seen... You didn't like Gwen! What?! What's the matter with you? Gwen actually had like relevant like Gwen had um had actual quests and like stuff for it. Like it felt it felt very immersive as well. Like not only was it a great game, but it also felt like immersive to the world. You know, like everyone fucking just played Gwen. Like everyone was just like, yeah, hell yeah, Gwen. It was awesome. <laughs> I really loved that aspect of it. And you could like collect cards and shit. There was like stuff that worked towards with it. Oh my god, I'm s I'm losing steam here. Um, god damn it! No, no. Yes, Final Fantasy I've noticed has a ton of mini games. Armand, welcome in. Hello. Thanks, Demonoid. Hey, Satan. 
Armand, how are you? How was your stream today? What were you up to? As you can see, we're playing some road trains. Uh, old Karasu, welcome in. Yeah, cause uh, yeah, why wouldn't it count? Tons of game with the within with each game. See, I haven't played any of those. Um, thank you, Satan. You're gonna sacrifice a small child for me. Thank you. Didn't like Gwent. GameCube version of Animal Crossing? Wait, what was the game in Animal Crossing? What was the game in Animal Crossing? You hated Gwent. Do you guys like... Okay, so Gwent haters. Do you not like card games? Are you not card gamers? You ever play Thronebreaker? No. I... Uh, I don't think so. Homebreaker. The Witcher Tales. Did I watch you play this a little bit? I probably saw you play this a little bit. Or did I? No, I watched you. What am I thinking of? Maybe I did. That does sound cool. Oh, it is CD Projekt Red. And it's a card game. Oh, engaging story set in the Witcher universe. That sounds cool. Okay, I I added it to my my wish list. Oh, okay. Doom twenty sixteen had the had most of the first episode of doing it. Yeah, that's cool. Crash Bandicoot was in Uncharted four. Oh, that is cool. You're not a fan of card games? Okay, fair enough. Playing a card game and you and your homies are on the cards? Yeah, that's badass! It does look like Red Dead has a lot of good games within that game. Yeah, I actually do want to play Red Dead at some point. Yeah. I know there's like, like regular cards, but... Flyer's Dice? Hmm. Hi, Uncle Tuck. Welcome in! Fermented Souls PS4. Yeah, I remember. Okay, actually, no, I have heard of that. Fermented Souls, I remember when that came out. Are you enjoying it? Had little Nintendos that actually emulated NES games? Oh, fuck. I don't remember that. You're a huge card gamer, but you didn't like Gwen? Really? It's so good. It's Witcher Universe and the whole game is Gwen. Battles to fulfill the story? That sounds fucking sick! Yeah! You played another game, though, that I think I would- Did you just gift it to me? I swear to god. Thank you! Uh, thanks, B! Oh man, that sounds sick. I definitely have to play that. <laughs> no. Caught red-handed! I'm- I- Okay, so when you said that game, though, I was thinking of another game that you played, and it- Hold on, I think I have it on my wish list. And it was like the voice of Geralt or something. What was it called? I have this like memory of you playing this game. And it was like, hold on, I think it's on my wish list. I'll find it. What's it called? Tales of Iron, yeah, that one. Would you recommend that game also? I think I have it on my list. Do I not? Thought I did. I'm losing my mind. Why do I have Dream Daddy on my wish list? Why did I put that on my wish list? <laughs> What's going on there? What the fuck? What's happening? Swear to God. Um, Tales of Iron. Yes. Okay. Yes. I remember that. Dream. What? I don't know. What? What did I say? I didn't say anything. What do you mean? What? Tales of Iron. Wait, what? Did they take it off Steam? Am I losing my actual mind right now? 
They take it off steam? Oh, tails. Oh, it is tails. <laughs> okay. Oh, wait, I own it. It's not on my wish list because I fucking own it. God damn it. I'm stupid. Okay. Well, yes. Okay. Tails of iron. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that one looks cool too. Okay. Salt and Sanctuary. That's also on my list. God damn. There's so many games. Too many games, in fact. I might say. God damn. Okay, cool. Thank you so much for Throne Breaker, was it? Throne Baker Breaker. Yeah. Okay, that sounds freaking awesome. Is four Gwen fans? Yeah, because I, I was going to try the standalone Gwen. I was like, it didn't hit the same. But that sounds like it could deliver. You play Magic Daily? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I love Magic too. Uh, Gwen just feels like really, really simplified magic, more or less. It's similar, I find. Um, you know, obviously with a little bit different kind of like rules and such, but. Um, yes, for Stardew Valley, it had little arcade games. Yeah, Journey of the Prairie King, which is like a little top down like shooter, and Junimo Kart, which is like a kind of like a jump. You have to like jump on the platforms and dodge uh, obstacles and stuff. So. Yeah, hell yeah. I love it so much. Yeah, I do seem to remember that being a good one. What's next after Cyberpunk? I'm going to play Dark Souls 2. So I miss Souls games. I miss playing Souls games. So I'm going to play Dark Souls 2. Ooh. I'm probably going to play a lot of, like, Souls games. I want to get back into, like, getting the Hollow Knight plat. I want the Sekiro plat. I still have to play Dark Souls 2 and 3. I gotta play Lies P. There's so many. I gotta do Elden Ring and Elden Ring DLC. Well, I gotta. I wanna replay Elden Ring. So, like, I feel like I gotta. I gotta get, get started, you know? I guess I gotta. I wanna check out. Uh, I gotta check out Thronebreaker! There's so many. There's a lot of games. There's a lot of games that I'm interested in. But yeah, Dark Souls 2 will be next. Should be quite the journey. <laughs> Gotta get started, boots up another. <laughs> that day will come. That day is not today. <laughs> Mission number one, try and get... I don't think it's gonna happen, guys. I don't think I'm getting first place this time around. But... When we come back to Cyberpunk to do the DLC, we can try again. It's not over. It's not, it's not over quite yet. This isn't giving up, but rather pressing pause for an unknown amount of time. Oh yeah, Tunic looks good. Did you ever beat Blasphemous? Yeah, I played the first and the second one and they were both pretty awesome. Really, really good. Okay, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta focus up. I gotta focus up. Oh my god. Dude, my, like, second run today. Was it my first one or was it my second run? Demolished. Lock in! Oh my god. Okay, okay, let's one more, one more, one more, one more. One more, one more, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I do have to do the Witcher DLCs too. Those will come before Phantom Liberty, undoubtedly. Um.
Um. You want to play Dark Souls 3 and Bloodborne at some point? Yeah. Oh, man. Bloodborne is amazing. Um. Oh, then DLC is my favorite DLC ever. I know I've had so much FOMO. <laughs> I've had so much FOMO. I wanted to play so bad, but <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. We're working our way up. I'm actually really, really excited for Dark Souls 2. I'm, I'm super excited. Hi, Frankie! The one life thing does suck, but it's, you know, I respect it. I respect the struggle. We also have Hades 2 to play, but... I'm going to work on it, my Eurydice. I want to do a Eurydice pause, but we'll probably put up like a little goal for materials and get that going and play. Maybe it's two. Yeah, it was phenomenal. Did you finish it, Majin? Yeah. Yet or not yet? Yeah, I've heard really good things. Hell nah, not yet. It's big. It's so much bigger than I thought it was. I haven't done the Witcher DLCs yet. No, I didn't. I didn't. I haven't. I just like, I just haven't had the time. But now I will have more, more time. I will have, it'd be easier to structure things. But yeah, I, um, yeah, I'm gonna, I, I, I'm excited though that I still have a little bit of like Witcher to explore yet. Like that's kind of, it's kind of nice to save, save a little treat for yourself for later, you know? Um, that was so good. That was the Witcher is so good. Dude, I I do someone said that there was like like 50, maybe even more. Like someone said there was like an absurd amount of bosses, like 50 plus bosses in the DLC, and I was like What? Like I thought they were joking. Like I literally was like, oh you're kidding. But they were not kidding. They weren't they weren't. Is there not? There's like optional bosses, I guess. I guess there is like, okay, maybe 50 was a dramatic amount, but I thought there was like five, but there's like five main bosses. And then there's like a ton of optional bosses. That's crazy though. What are they doing over there? But not that much. Somebody needs to give me an exact number right now. Look it up. How many are there? Did you? Hold on, I can't, I can't see. One sec. One second. All bosses. 41 bosses. Okay, that's like a fucking lot. And then only five of those are main, like, story bosses. Blood and Wine is a whole second game. Yeah! And I heard it's, like, even better than the main game. Ten re oh, there's ten Remembrance bosses. Which are like story bosses, right? Holy sh- that's still like 10 is a lot <laughs> for a DLC, I feel. But but Elden Ring is obviously the exception in and of itself. It already has so many bosses like in the main game. Like the main game is obviously massive in compared to the other Souls games. So I suppose to scale, it's not that crazy, but I still feel like that is extreme. Um, Miyazaki be wild. He went all out. 
He really went out all out. Yeah, the DLC is like, is like a whole game. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> Roskva. <laughs> 41. Okay, thanks, Tanner. 41. Wow. That's crazy. Absolutely crazy. Wow. I suppose they have like world, like bosses that you could just kind of fight around the world and actual boss rooms and all sorts of crazy things. That is a lot. All right, here we go. <sighs> I don't know what makes me more nervous, the birds or the griffins. That move at a diagonal. I think it's the birds. I think the birds are less predictable. The base game? Oh god, it probably had like fucking over 100. One more, one more, one more. Oh my god. It's a rough start, it's a rough start. <laughs> There's a, a strong chance you might catch me playing this in Discord one night. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> I feel like um, I might not stream my quest to number one, but I might play it in my free time. In which case, I can stream it in the Discord, I suppose. <laughs> if we're feeling so inclined. To watch my success. <laughs> my climb to number one. Yeah, free time. I'm giving myself more free time. I'm just using my time more wisely. Anyway, if that's the plan. Maybe not more wisely. Well, yeah, more bene beneficially. Is that a word? This game looks insane, bro. It's totally fucked. 
It's very simple, but also really challenging at the same time. I feel like the strategy is to like be in the air more than being on the ground. I don't know. I just like have this hunch that that would be better because you can always, it's easier for you to glitch after a double jump than to, are you fucking serious right now? There's no way. Okay, one more because that was bullshit. That was some bullshit right there. I just got robbed. It is addicting. It's so addicting. I'm ashamed to <laughs> admit it. <laughs> I'm addicted to Roach Race. It's literally a one, like it's literally a one button game. Like you just click one button the whole time. <laughs> uh, I love it. You know what game I miss playing? Deep Rock Galactic Survivors, actually, now that you mentioned Vampire Survivors. You think Gwent is a worse addiction? I was I was addicted to, uh, I was a dick. I was addicted to, to Gwent as well, so. What does that say about me? Was M. <laughs> I don't I, I mean I can't be that addictive if I if I don't play it still to this day. You know, it was a circumstance. Oh, I meant the dick part. Right, right, right. Touche. Touche. Oh my god. Sloppy! Yeah, have you been playing it, Majin? I haven't played since they've, like, updated it. I haven't played. But I'm playing PUE, so that'll be my free time game for a little while. I think. But that game is super fun. Like, simple, simple, yet enjoyable, you know? Simple yet still challenging in some in some ways. I do enjoy. I do enjoy that. I would start playing PUE more seriously on the farming league. <laughs> How appropriate. PoE 2 does look really good though. I might be interested in PoE 2 when it comes out. Like a fresh start, so to speak. I want to read chat, but I want to win also. Mm, I sh think I would have been safe on the ground to grab the carrot. <laughs> Winning. Well, I'm trying to do both.
We've certainly improved today. I would say. The Gwen theme. Yeah, I love all the remixed Witcher music. Absolutely. Okay, and did you play a lot of this Pooh when you played? It is rant. There is a lot of RNG in this game, which is frustrating. Oh, fuck. I wonder if they move based on... No, I don't think they do. Oh my god! You see these birds? These birds stress me out, man. <gasps> ah! They stress me out so bad! Okay, I think I need to jump over them. I think that is probably... Oh my fucking god. Like, what are you doing, you fucking bitch? What are you doing? Why are you doing that to me? This song goes so hard. Okay. Oh my gosh. Good night, Des. Sleep well. <gasps> the birds. The birds! They're after me! They're out to get me, chat. Oh my god! <laughs> it's so fast! Ah, I jumped right into that guy! Oh! All right, one more. <laughs> one more! I say. That's it though, this is it. Good start. I don't think the birds can hurt me here. Like, on the ground, I mean. Oh my god! I sure was moving fast. Oh god. Oh goodness gracious. birds Ooh. 
think you're right. Insert yourselves. <laughs> uh, go insert yourself. You bitch. God, I didn't mean to jump there. That was an accident, and that could have been really bad. <laughs> Clutch. Oh my God! <laughs> I'm scared! No, they can get you on on this one. They can fucking get you here. The birds can get you fucking here. Oh my god. Those little fuckers. Oh my god, I'm shitting myself! This is horrible! <laughs> I hate it! I hate it! I hate it! I hate it! I suppose I should just take my my best score and retire for the evening. <sighs> oh, this game's so hard. <laughs> Cyberpunk for a second there. Dude, it's crazy. It's crazy out here. 
I just I just murdered a bunch of people before we got here. Um, all right. Well then. What's down here? People cowering in fear? <laughs> that emo homicide. I love it. Well then. This is cyberpunk, yeah. You got a text from the arcade? Yeah, because I got a new high score today. Hold on, I need to save right in front of this. Wait, where is it? All right, I need to save here so that when I boot up the game again, I'm right here. Um, yes, yeah, so I got a text from the arcade because I got a new high score, so I got like money or something. Third place, nice. You're officially among the best. You and Roach came a long way, but it's far from over. There's two more scores to beat. We're sending you a little something to encourage you to try again. Good luck. Yeah, they sent me money. So, kind of a big deal. Guys, we beat Cyberpunk! We did it! We did it! We beat Cyberpunk. Yeah, it's over for now. But, um... I will be playing Road Trace, maybe. I can see myself playing Road Trace to get to the top. 